This person stole millions, billions from me. I could have been Mark Zuckerberg at this particular point in my life. But because Maria stole from me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There's an echo in here. Why is there an echo? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another story time. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a story time. And I've been promising to get a story time out for you guys. But I just had a lot of other videos to get out first before I could actually get out of story time. But I finally got around to it. So you don't have to worry. Um, oh, about my drink. So I'm still drinking the same thing that you guys know that I always drink. I just decided to hide its branding because I feel as though I'm giving them free publicity and they're not recognizing me. And even when I approach them, they don't respond. So... Yeah, rather we don't have a relationship. I still really enjoy the drink, so I will be drinking it, but I just will not have the actual bottle um, visible. It is free publicity, right? I'm not crazy, right? Like this is so good. So when I drink, there's a young ring at some beer. Anyway, um, so today I want to tell you guys a story time about something that has happened to me. Um, I was actually telling a friend this story um last week, and I was like, why don't I make a story time on it? Because I have never told you guys about it. And the last hostel um story time you guys really really enjoyed and really really interacted so why not okay why not okay so set scene we're in matric um it's the year 2015 um 2015 i'm in matric i'm in the hostel that i have told you guys about i went to a boarding school a very strict christian boarding school um so weren't allowed to really party or anything like that legally like in the school or like the people in the school didn't need to know that you were partying we did it because we were kids, but they didn't like, it wasn't allowed. We're supposed to live by the Bible and partying is not really in the Bible. Right. So, so, um, we had decided as friends that no, we are doing a trick. End of the year, why don't we go to Durban for rage, right? For those who don't know what rage is, it's a big, 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 big party in Durban. Um, where matriculants go at the end of the academic year, their matric academic year. Is it matric? It doesn't make sense. No? Makes sense. Matric academic year. They're, at the end of their grade twelve, they go there to celebrate, have fun, and all of that. Cool. So a little background. Okay, it's not background. A little fact um, is that in my high school, um, there was only one class per grade because it was a very small school. So in matric, there were only 25 of us and it was only one grade 12. There was no grade 12 A, grade 12 B, grade 12 2.1. No, it was grade 12, grade 11, grade 10. I think grade 8 or 9 sometimes would be like grade 12 A and grade 12 B. But like from grade 10, 11, 12, there was no other classes. It was one class because... As the years went up, the school got smaller and smaller and smaller. Cool. Mm. So, oh, the fact is that we are one class. So, we see each other every day. In the hostel, they grouped you by your grade. So, you'd sleep with your grade. So, grade 12s had their own room. Grade 11s had their own room. Every grade had their own room. You understand so the people you see in class every day you sleep with and even in the dining hall where you eat and do your homework you sit as grades so i sleep with you i learn with you during the day i eat with you in the morning in the afternoon and in the evening um because we, we were so forced to always be together we all ended up being friends so when we go to church so there was church every sunday morning um every wednesday evening and friday sometimes in the morning some friday mornings we'd have church so you know how normal school has, have assembly we'd have church on a friday morning um and some saturdays every last saturday of the month 
was a big big church so the people you're great because you guys have become friends because you guys are always together you'd sit within church so you see these people all the time every day i think now it was normal then you know when you're a kid and you're so used that this is the way and the truth and the life this is all you know so you see nothing wrong with it but now if i were to see my friends every day and sleep with them and eat with them and learn with them and go to church with them uh, <laughs> Surely. So, um, yeah, that would like happen um, every day, all day. The only time we got a break from each other was school holidays, literally. Um, yeah, so those are the facts. So, my classmates and my friends, we are all planning to go to Durban. Okay, right. We are going to Durban. Like, it's going to be fun times there by rage because we, we are always in this community where it's rules, 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 rules. Finally, we'll go to Durban, we'll be free, we'll party with other matriculants, we'll party with other kids. Like, it will be fine. Do you understand? Cool. So, we decide as friends, we're going to do that. Me, I know at home, if my mom, the first party I ever went to was grade nine, um, June 16, grade nine. I went to Togoza Park in Soweto to go party with my friends. And I was so scared to ask my mom. But when I asked her, she's like, you can do whatever you want to do with your life. As long as you are responsible, I know where you are, and you don't ask me for money. Do you understand? So that's my, until today, even today, that's my mom's rules. As long as I know where you are, I know that you are safe, and you don't ask me for money. You can do whatever you want because i think she believes in the way she raised me she knows who she raised she knows that 30 percent of the time i make responsible decisions she knows who, you know like she trusts me so i knew that my mom is not going to give me money for rage i knew even if i asked my mom is not going to give me money for rage but i'm in the hostel and by grade 12, so during the other years, um, my mom would come see me every Sunday. But by grade 12, I had gotten so naughty um, that my mom was like, you know what, you're only going to be at school when you need to be at school. So during the week, every weekend, every Friday, my mom came to pick me up because she's like, if you're going to be a problem, rather you become a problem in my house, not in people's schools, you understand? So every Sunday when she came to drop me back at the hostel, she'd leave me um, with money, um, my allowance. Cool. So other kids get their allowance monthly. I got mine weekly. So she'd like break it down. So at the hostel, you were fed breakfast. So my mom pays for the hostel. So she pays for my breakfast. She pays for my lunch and she pays for my dinner. So during school hours, the school and the hostel were in the same yard. So during school hours, when it's break, you go to the hostel, you get your sandwich and you get juice. Like your lunch is sorted. So I did not need that money. The only reason... I had that money was if you want to go to the tuck shop like get a, some chips or you know anything but i had become so smart in the trade that i was like you know what every sunday when my mom comes to drop me we are going to go sh shopping for like a few things and then i'd grab some snacks so i don't need to spend my money i have snacks i have food sorted at the hostel like my life is sorted i don't need this money and my mom gave me a hundred rand every week so i'd save that hundred rand cool i wouldn't even touch it guys you know when you say maybe you're gonna save 80 rand and spend 20 i wouldn't touch my money because i have no reason to spend my money fridays at the school they would serve um like a billy bottle you know like really nice food like sometimes at the tuck shop they'd sell um what was that thing? mac and cheese and you know all these really nice things on fridays though so i was dating i was dating this little boy so i knew that on fridays he's going to buy that food and we're gonna eat it together i'm not going to buy it economical me so <laughs> because i'm saving for rage do you understand okay i had this bag so you were supposed to have a bag and a trunk a trunk that you can lock right that keeps your things that nobody steals your things um, I did not really use my trunk. Um, so people who did not go home as often as I did would like keep a lot of their things in the trunk. Um, a lot of their clothes and everything. So I went home every weekend. So I would come with the clothes that I need for that week in my little bag, my school uniform and my changing clothes. 
because I know Friday I'm going home. I don't need to have my weekend clothes. So they'd have like their whole life in there. So in my trunk, I would only keep like my, um, what do you call my books, uh, stationery that I might need, extra stationery. Um, what else did I have in there? My snacks that I'd buy, I'd keep them in there. But then in my bag, there was my clothes, right? Cool. So it's bunk beds, right? It's a hostel. Most hostels have bunk beds. So I slept at the bottom, right? And it was a big room because matriculants needed space because we are special, right? Right. So um, my bed was in the corner, corner, corner at the bottom. Like it was very dark. And that's what I liked about my bed is that it's so dark. You don't know if there's somebody in there or not. Uh, because when they woke us up, I did not like waking up. So I did not want the hostel matron to like know, am I up? Am I in the bathroom taking a shower or am I in the bed, you know? So it was opposite this girl who is my friend, who is my classmate, who is my dinner mate, who is my everything at this particular point. She's my everything because we are always together. And there were 10 of us in the group, I think. 10 or 8, I don't really remember. And we're all like a big group of friends. So she slept at the bottom, but opposite me. So when we slept, the bottom of our beds touched. Do you understand? My head is here. Her head is here at the corner, in the corner of the room. Cool. We are going to name my dear friend, Mary. Maria. You want to name her Maria. Nyana, not Nyana. Mfazga Joseph. Mama got Jesus. We're going to name her Maria. Cool. Hmm. Yo, not me saying Maria's Nyanaga Joseph, hey? Sharp. Um, when I go to shower in the morning, I get dressed from my bag. And you are my roommate, you are my friend, you are my classmate. I trust you. Everybody in the room knew where my money is. Everybody knew. Because... I knew where everybody else's money is as well. Like, we had that trust. Do you understand? Like, nobody would steal your money. Do you understand? We trusted each other. <laughs> okay, I... At some point, I lost track of how much money I had, right? I think I stopped counting at, like, 700 rand. And I just kept it there. Okay, cool. It's in my bag. Every morning, I get dressed. When I get dressed, I see my money. Especially on Fridays, because at this point, my bag is empty. I only have one sh uh, school shirt um, in the bag and my skirt and whatever. So I would see the money because my bag is empty. I'm going home in the afternoon. All my clothes are in the laundry basket. Okay. Hey! As weeks go by. Lemali, I don't know uba yesa. Oh, I don't know how much money I have. Do you understand? But like every week I keep adding a hundred rand, but the stack is not increasing though. I knew Kilimani. Do you understand? Something is fishy, but I don't pay attention to it. I'm like, like I keep looking at this money. I don't know why it did not register in my head, but count your money. Like just count it. Okay, it's fine. Life goes on, life goes on. And we are planning, guys. We are planning that no, we are going to book with a uh, fly affair, not fly affair, ooh, not fly affair, flight center. For those who know my history with fly affair, you guys understand why I got so angry for a second. Um, flight center, we're going to book with flight center, we're going to get accommodation and transport, like our life is going to be sorted. Nanzanali must we are saving. We have money. <laughs> Why would our life not be sorted at any particular juncture? Why would it not? Okay, I the other girls, I think a few of the girls were obviously gonna ask their parents for money, and the other one ha was saving in their bank account. I didn't have time for that. I trusted my bank more than the bank. I know better now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sharp. This one day, I come back from home and I put 
My mom didn't give me a hundred rand note. This day, she specifically gave me two fifty rand notes. And I remember her giving it to me, and um, the one was folded more than the other one. Like the other one was folded four times, and then the other one was folded once. You understand? Like she just gave it to me, and I remember it. And I even made fun of her. Good time. <laughs> Why would you give me money like this? Why don't you open the money? And she was just like, hey, I'll take it back, Pella. And we're laughing about it, you understand? So that's why that money made an impression in my mind. All money makes an impression in my mind. Money is impressive. But that particular 250 red note made a huge impression in my mind. And you will understand why. Ah, friends, 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 ask me, please, feel free. Ask me about friends, me, Oisa, ask me, I will answer. Our hostel, um, what, what's that thing called? Routine was 4 a.m. We all get woken up. 4 a.m. You take your toiletry bag. You go stand in line with to your toiletry bag. So we all lazy kids. I mean, you're a teenager. You're not trying to stand. There. Okay, some did. The weirdos did. Okay, I'm sorry if I called you a weirdo if you're watching this video. You're not a weirdo, but you know what I'm trying to mean. It's very weird of you to do that. Because you could literally just put your toiletry bag and go back to bed. But there were kids that would actually stand there and wait for everyone to shower. So... Oh, an interesting thing that people always get shocked by is that we were timed. When we shower, you could only shower for two minutes. So we get there, we get in the shower. There were six showers. So it was six at a time. And then our hostel master, hostel matron would sit there and actually time us. And when you have 30 seconds left, she tells you 30 seconds. And then when it's two minutes, everybody's shower must go off. So you have to be very strategic with your washing. You have to be fast. When it says 30 seconds, you better be rinsing your body. You better be rinsing. So that's why I take really long showers now. I'm making up for lost time. Anywho, so you go put your toiletry bag. We would usually go back to the room either to make up your bed, to clean, to take out your uniform so you were ready, anything. But nobody would really wait in the bathroom. And then after that, you go shower eventually when it's your turn. After showering, you come back, you get dressed. Half past six. Half past six, there's a guy, I'm not going to call his name, but he, was, he wasn't he was a hostile father. He was, what, what can I call him? The devotionalist, because we had devotion at half past six. He'd come, he's not allowed in the girls' hostel. No man is allowed in the girls' hostel. So he'd stand by the door, shout that it's time for devotion. We all get our bags, go to devotion. So once you leave for devotion, after half past six, at 22, because um, devotion was only 10 minutes, um, at 20 to 7, it's breakfast, you eat, and I think until half past 7, I don't remember the times really, but what I do know for sure is once you are out for devotion, you are no longer coming back in the hostel, you are going to be in the dining room, have devotion, after devotion, you eat your breakfast, after breakfast, you go to school, you are no longer going back inside the hostel, right, right, I would leave, um, to go to devotion and breakfast and I would see my money. Do you understand? I would see it. But because I don't need it for anything, I wouldn't take it. But I would see my money. Do you understand? Hi, okay. This one particular God, is a God's faithful day. God forsaken. Yeah, so, so. This one particular God forsaken day. I see my 250 rands. I did not, when I put them in the stack, I did not like open them and put them properly. I just threw them in there as my mom gave me. Remember my mom gave them really folded and then the other one folded once. So I just put them there. Cool. I go out for devotion. Um, breakfast, go to school. Next day, come get dressed. As I'm getting dressed, There are no 250 rands, it's only 100 rands. And you know, this person cared for me. Hey, this person who stole my money, she cared for me because she wouldn't steal all my money. No, no, no. She made sure she leaves me some, but she takes some for herself. That's thoughtfulness, if you ask me. Like, she was a very thoughtful person. She didn't want to, like, see me starve, clearly. So, but I'm a missus. Yeah, if I am cool hey guys i see that my 50 rands are not here 
and i'm like i've been noticing that my money is like not making sense but I, and i haven't been like paying attention to it but this this i'm sure this i'm sure that i saw these 50 rands yesterday i'm 100 percent sure i pick up my money and i counted it's 500 rand guys it's at this point supposed to be Roma 1.2 or 1.3 i don't know but it was way more remember i last stopped counting when it was 700 rand and that was weeks ago how is it 500 rand now when weeks ago it was 700 rand make it make sense make it make sense jesus how how i count my money i'm like i'm not a numbers person i'm not a numbers person at all but i'm a money person i know my money i'm closer i'm closer i am a money person naturally from birth i was a money person till now i'm still a money person so my money can't go missing and i think it's a mistake there's no way then stress what is stress it's like better when the stress is here and you, this 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 part of your your face is going i was so stressed but you know you're confused i know for a fact my money's my money's missing but how do you understand how hi okay i tell the girls i'm like guys my money's missing they're like what i'm like my rage money is missing you guys all know where i keep my money has there ain't been anyone in this room so now we start to like Guys, at no point did I suspect any of my friends. No point did I suspect any of them. Do you understand? My first thought was, has there been anyone in our room recently? Hey, we start thinking that no man, there was this grade nine, this other day that was roaming around. One of my roommates' sister was also in a different grade and she would come to her sister and we were like, no money. Who could be stealing this money? Right? Okay. <laughs> Guys. Yo. Okay. Stupid me. I put my money back where I always keep it. I don't change my hiding spot. Well, not even a hiding spot. My keeping spot. I don't change my bank at all. I keep my current bank. Okay. Um... The following week, or a few days later, my other friend is like, no man, guys, my money is missing. Few days later, the other one, no guys, my money is missing. So a lot of us' monies are starting to go missing now. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Mel, Mel is like, guys, my man is missing. We're like, no man, somebody has been coming into our room stealing our money. This is not okay at this point. It's not okay. Uh, how much is missing, friend? No, guys, somebody stole my hundred rand. We're like, oh man, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Who's stealing our money? Hi, guys. No, we have to tell the hostel mother. We have to tell her. Cool. So, shoot. Okay. Remember, why was the routine, our morning routine important? You ask. This is why it was important. Remember, you are not allowed to go back in once you go out for devotion. Shuguti Umeri decided, no. Let me be ahead of this. Let me beat it before it gets to the finish line. You understand? She thought she was smart. <laughs> Omer goes to the hostel mother first. Omer gets to the hostel mother. She's like, oh, why would I call her? May her soul rest in peace. I loved her so much. And she was like, oh, guys, she always swore at us. But it's fine because we loved her for her swearing. What would I call her? I'll call her. I'll call <laughs> Because of the kind of person she was, guys. And people who went to the same school as me will agree. Like, she didn't take nonsense. So I'll call her Fatni Katni. So Omeri goes to Fatni Katni. 
when she gets to Fatni Kakni, she's like, huh? uh, Fatni Kakni, I lost money in the room. Fatni Kakni is like, how much did you, how much did you lose? So you know when you lie, you know when you lie, you forget your damn lie. To us, she said she's missing hundred times. She got to Fatni Kakni, she's like, it's hundred and fifty. Ding, ding, ding. It's like, I lost hundred and fifty. Fatni Kakni is like, yeah, man. How? How did you lose hundred and fifty? She's like, I don't know, but a lot of us in the room have been missing money recently. I think it's these little grades. These younger grades have been stealing money from us. These little grades have been stealing money from us. They've been coming into our room. Um, I don't know when, but we've been missing money for months, for weeks now. It was been months at this point, or weeks. I don't know, but like for some time. Okay. Fatni Katni is like, all right, cool. So we don't know when she went to Fatni Katni. Tina, we thought we are all going to go to Fatni Katni as a group. And go tell her that no, we are losing money in our room. We don't know that she was ahead of the game. Because she also did not tell us that she's ahead of the game. Because she was trying to help herself. She was trying to save herself. But who are we? Right? This one Wednesday. Remember Wednesday nights we go to church. This one Wednesday we go to church and the spirit of the Lord fell and was like, no, no more, my children. No more are you guys going to miss money like this. No. After church, um, there was this guy that she was interested in. So she was busy chatting up with this guy and we went to the hostel. When we got to the hostel, uh, we're like, ah, why don't we just tell Fatni Katni now that we are missing money? And, you know, it's fine. There was a lot. I think there was two or three of the girls that went there. And then the five of us went to Fatni Katni's room. And we told her that, no, man, we've been missing money in our room and we don't know who's like stealing money. She's like, you know, Maria told me that you guys are missing money. We're like, what? When did she tell you? Well, she does say when she, he, she was told and we're like, but that wasn't the plan. We didn't agree that she was going to tell you, but okay. Oh, okay. It's fine. doesn't matter. We're not suspecting her. Like, okay. Yeah, man, we lost money. Fatni Katni is like, and she was colored, ne? Close the door. Close the door. I want to tell you guys something. We're like, okay. Close the door. We think she's going to tell us who the culprit is. And we think the culprit is going to be in another grade. We didn't think it was one of our own. She's like, Nyama, Lester, you know your friend Maria? Every morning, she comes back. After devotion, after you guys for devotion, go for devotion, when you guys are eating breakfast, she always has an excuse to come back. Either she says, Nia, my period has started, I have to fetch a bed, or Nia, I have to fetch painkillers, or Nia, I forgot my money for lunch, or Nia, I forgot this textbook. But every morning, she has an excuse of why she has to come back. And I open for her. And now that you guys are saying that you are missing money, it all makes sense. Maria stealing your guys' money. We're like, no, man, Fatni Katni. It can't be her because she's also missing money. She's like, oh, yeah, she told me she's missing 150. We're like, oh, hola. She's missing how much? She's like, no, she came here and she's like, oh, 150 is missing. We're like, but that's not what she said, though. She said to us she's missing 100 rand. Fatni Katni's like, senior, senior. Who could say for yeah? That is 100 rand, maar bij het is 150 rand. What do I think? Hey, Fatni Katni is like, guys, I don't trust that girl. And something in my spirit is telling me it's that girl that's stealing your money. We're like, no, Fatni Katni. It can't be one of our own. Fatni Katni is like, well, it is though. Okay. <laughs> I need a refill. I come back. <laughs> Okay, so throughout this whole like situation where we are telling Fatni Katni, um, she's like, no, you know what? There was this naughty kid. Okay, so before I get to that, we weren't allowed to have cell phones 
so we were not allowed to have contact with the outside world because they would then like it was a very spiritual school so they did not want any disturbance okay they still don't because it's still active they do not they don't want any disturbances from the outside like you must fully be here so we weren't allowed to have cell phones um i think in matric it was a matric privilege to have a cell phone but by the time we got to matric they saw we uh, people are taking advantage of that privilege so it was no longer allowed so um there was a telephone that would come out like every thursday so you can like call your parents and see if they're coming to fetch you the next day and whatever whatever i think i've said this in the previous story time about the hostel so um that phone was two rand you paid two rand to um call um and i think the call lasted two minutes but that two rand had a limit also you can't call forever it was like a public phone if i could put it that way okay so there was this naughty naughty young boy like yo he was so naughty that little boy um so fatni katni is telling us that no naughty boy came to call on the phone last week and he came to call with a 50 rand and he made the call but like after he walked away i realized that that 50 rand was fake you understand so i have a fake 50 rand so one of y'all take this 50 rand plant it somewhere and i fatni katni is going to alert the so the tuck shop was run by a couple she's going to alert the tuck shop couple and whenever maria comes to buy something they must inspect that money and if she uses that fake money to buy then it's her that's how we're gonna trap it that's the trap with that fake money if she's going to alert the couple if the whenever she comes to buy the couple must inspect that money and if it's that fake 50 rand then we've got her because it's her they're like okay oi since she's been stealing so much money from you you take the money and you guys sleep like so next to each other you take the money and you put it in your bag and we'll see if she takes it <laughs> guys i took that money i put it in my bag no i didn't put it in my bag i took off the out uh, the church outfit that i had i think it was a sh i don't know what i was wearing but i took it off and i just threw it on my bed you don't understand and i put the money like next to it strategically so it looks like i was changing and i quickly just put the money there and i left I left the room guys lo and behold when i got back it wasn't there it wasn't there and maria had changed and she was in her bed already and i was like good shot it's worked she took the money who else she took the money so the rest of us girls know what's up so everybody's looking at me and i'm just like and everybody's like and I'm just like, you know, we've got her. So now all we need is Fatni Katni to come tell us that no, we have got her. Yo. <laughs> when I tell you that is not how it panned out. It's not how it panned out. This is Wednesday night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday happens nothing fatni kakni is not giving us any feedback we keep asking her and she's still like no guys nothing nothing maybe it's not her like guys i had so much trust in maria that i was like guys there's no way there's no way it's her but i mean we'll track her and see if it actually is her but my heart of hearts believes it's not her guys <laughs> And when the week was ending without her using the money and she hadn't gone home she hadn't gone home and the week had passed without her using the money i was like guys it's really not her like i don't know why my brain was not sanganising two and two because where did my 50 rand go where did my fake 50 rand go but i was like there's no way it's her not my friend not my friend guys not my friend hey eh? it actually was my friend the following week um, a friend of ours' um, mom passes away. So we were like, no, as the girls, we are all going to go with her to the funeral uh, the weekend because her mom passed away earlier in the week. So that weekend we had planned that we are going to go 
and she stayed in Pretoria. So we're gonna go from the Val to Pretoria. One of our other friends' um dad had a transport business, so he borrowed us like one of his car and a driver, and the driver would take us there on the Friday evening. We'd stay there for the funeral on Saturday, and then Saturday evening the driver would come fetch us and take everyone back to where he picked us up and then they would take a taxi back to school cool we contributed though for petrol i don't remember how much we contributed for petrol so now we go to the funeral on friday i shall put the funeral is fine um friday when we got them um our friend who his mom had passed on was eating this ice cream but it's not ice cream it's like an ice cream cone and then it's a sweet on top that's shaped like an ice cream it's not an actual ice cream and it looked so good when she was eating it so on the saturday when we left or oh, on the friday we asked her where she got it and she's like no at the garage up there excuse me so like she got at the garage up there we're like oh okay we're just gonna buy it whenever we walk to the garage but we actually never got to go into the garage so as we're driving back um after the funeral we passed this garage and we're like no man we want that ice cream like let's stop for that ice cream shut up we stop for the ice cream uh a few people don't want it some of us want it it was all eight of us i think um that had gone on this trip like all of us went but a few of us wanted it, a few of us didn't want it. So I was one of the people that wanted it. So we got out, went to go get the ice cream, and we came back in. When we came back in, I remember Maria and my other friend, who was my primary school bully, but now she's one of my best, 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 best friends. I will call her bully. She knows why I always make fun of her about this because she really bullied me, guys. I must make a story time about this. Um Bully and Maria are like, no man, let's just go get this ice cream because now that they're eating it, I really want it. I've changed my mind. Like, okay, fine, we'll wait for you guys. Go. They go. When they come back, Bully comes laughing. You know what I was She was finished. She was laughing, tears coming out of her eyes. Well, like, what happened? What happened? And she's like, yo, guys, she takes out the 50 rand. And apparently the cashier got the 50 rand and the cashier wrote, like scratched it and was like, no, this is fake money. And she wrote with it with a marker. So she's showing us the 50 rand and it has a marker all over it. And she's like, guys, Maria bought with this money. She bought with fake money. And she starts laughing. Guys, everybody in the car was like, we knew it. We knew it was her. Guys, when I told you, you know how far Pretoria is from the south, Jobek South, I was sitting like this the whole time looking out the window because I was in disbelief. My friend has been stealing money from me. My friend, my friend Maria, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. I was sitting like this and Bully kept being like, ah, wait now. Why are you looking like that? And she would laugh. So at this point, we haven't told Maria that that money we had planted to catch you and now we've caught you. Do you understand? Hmm. I'm looking out the window like this. I'm in disbelief. Bully keeps being like, ah, hey, hey, Joe, you're going to look like that until when? And she laughed. Everybody in the car, like, made comments. Made. Made. Everybody was making comments. And I was just like, so much money friend you stole so much money from me and to me guys if i'm not exaggerating she probably she stole over 700 if not 800 from me she stole a lot of money from me and to me 800 grand 700 grand is a lot of money i get 100 grand a week that's a lot of money and this is money I was saving to go away with you guys. And you were stealing it from me. I was so hurt, guys. I was so hurt. Shop. We get um, to our friend's house. Our friend whose dad owns the car. I stayed close to her house. So I wasn't going back to the hostel because it's Saturday, remember? And my mom did not want me in the hostel during the weekend at all. So I had to go home. And they were going back to the hostel. 
and i was like guys please don't confront her until i'm there like please don't say anything until i'm there and like okay cool they got to the hostel first things first they went to tell fatni kakmi they're like yo simpakile it's her we've got her it was her she's been seeing the money the whole time she then went to go spend the money there by the funeral blah blah fatni kakmi was like i told you yeah i told y'all it was her i told you guys shut up i went home remember these people in the hostel don't have phones i'm at home i have my phone but i can't chat to them because they don't have phones and i'm just like i tell my mom my mom is like there's no way i'm like do i look like i'm joking like i'm serious guys disbelief sunday my mom takes me to the hostel my mom takes me to the hostel i don't know why i really don't know why but i had literally forgotten about it or like it was it was not the first thing i had thought of when i got to the hostel me i'm busy chatting to everyone hey guys hey so every sunday we had hot dogs for dinner so me i was busy talking smack about the hot dogs oh look at this vienna hey why is it shaped like this and my friends are just like bro can you just eat so we can go to the room i'm like hey, i'm not gonna not, i'm not gonna eat this funny shaped vienna everybody's like well you have to because we have to go to the room and i'm like i don't want to eat it like I, <laughs> it had slipped my mind Shabu, i keep like eating it but i'm just like oh guys this vienna like, can you just stop talking about the vienna so we can go to the room i'm like yeah man do you guys see this vienna do you guys see this vienna and they're just like bro just eat your hot dog she's sitting here so they can't really say that bro we have that situation that we need to go sort out they can't and me i'm focusing on my vienna i even go to the cook i'm like hey why is your vienna she playing it's gonna have a different vienna and she's like no our cook was very strict and i think because she was strict we liked provoking her like she was so strict that she would like ninja you water she would tell you that she doesn't want to give you water from her kitchen. Go get water from somewhere else. You understand? So we just liked provoking her. And she, so I was like, I, say, I want a different Vienna. And she was like, yeah, you already had a Vienna. <laughs> I don't know why this Vienna part is important. But like, do you guys, do you guys understand how stupid I was at that moment? I forgot who did this person stole millions, billions from me. I could have been Mark Zuckerberg. At this particular point in my life but because maria stole from me hi sharp i get over my vienna i go into the hostel when we get into the hostel so i'm sitting on her bed and her bed was on top and it was at a particular part of the room where you can see the whole room you understand so i'm sitting there and i'm busy talking to her i'm telling her about my vienna i was like oh you did yourself a favor by not coming to have dinner oh then vienna and all i hear is my friend is like okay i'm gonna call her oh my god okay but now i have to call, give everyone names and there was a lot of us because a lot of us were participating in this conversation she's like um maria can we talk to you and everybody's like quiet and i'm like oh yeah konje when that sees you know so now they have my attention i'm done with the vienna now i'm like okay now is the time they start telling her yeah we're now that 50 rand that you stole you that you paid with yesterday we actually planted it in oi's bag um oi's bed sorry we planted it on oi's bed because you've been stealing money from oi's bag you've been stealing money from this one's trunk you've been stealing money from this one's whatever like you've just been stealing money even one of my friends kept money in her school bag guys you know when i say we trusted each other that you would take your money to school every day because you knew nobody would search your bag like we are a christian household why are you stealing from your brother or your sister do you understand we trusted each other that much and she broke that trust who mary Woo, wherever you are Woo. Woo. Shut up. um guys they confronted her. I'm sitting on top of the bed. She denied. No, I said she denied. 
she said that money she got from her mom when did you get it from your mom the day we went to the funeral the day we went to the funeral we we're already at our friend's house uh because we had left the hostel all together we we're at our friend's house waiting for the car so we can go to the thingy and her mom just came to see her because her mom was in the area and when she went outside i went with her to her mom's car and her mom didn't give her money she was lying yes she was lying she's like my mom gave it to me i'm like ah, Maria. i was there she was like, no, when you were walking out of the car, she quickly slipped it in my hand. I'm like, you're lying. Why would your mom give you fake money? You need to do something about that. I don't know if that's okay. Why would your mom give you fake money? She's like, no, you guys are attacking me. I did not steal money. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We called Fatni Katni. No, we didn't call. Fatni Katni was standing at the door. Fatni Katni was standing at the door. And we're like, Fatni Katni, how much money did she say she lost? Funny cat is like, you came to me and you said to me that you lost 150 rand. And we're like, yeah. And you told us that you lost 100 rand. So which is which? She's like, no. You know when you're in a moment of distress, you forget. We're like, ah, surely, 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 surely. How stupid do we look? Let me come closer. My makeup looks really good, but that's not why I'm here. <laughs> How stupid do we look? My makeup actually looks really good. Okay. It becomes a whole thing. Guys, that girl denied. When she denied, she denied. We're like, all right then. She so gonna continue denying. We don't feel safe around you. Do you mind leaving our room? We'll find a different place to sleep. We don't know where, but we don't want you sleeping in our room with us anymore. She's like, no, I'm not going to do that. My other friend packed for her. <laughs> My other friend started packing for her. Took her stuff to like some vacant room and it was so cold. Took her to that vacant room. Left her stuff there. She eventually left and went there. Cool. And guys, she never gave me my money back. She never gave my money back. Um, she just told everyone that we were bullying her. We kicked her out of the room. And like the other grades don't know the full story. And there were day scholars as well. It wasn't only a hostel. Um, it wasn't only a boarding school. There were day scholars. And the day scholars the next day got whiff of the story. And they were confronting us. I said, yeah, Nina, why are you guys doing this to me? Hey, 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 hey. And we're like, you guys don't even know the full story. Like, you guys don't even know what happened. Like, no, she told us that you guys are saying she stole your money and you guys have no proof. We're like, is that so? Is that so? Cool. Uh, we eventually went to Rage. Okay, we didn't go to Rage, but we eventually went to Durban at the end of the year. We decided we don't want to do Rage. We just want to go to Durban and party on our own. And drama happened there as well. That's a different story time. Remind me to tell you guys how we flooded a whole hotel. <laughs> because that is what happened. We flooded the whole hotel. We had random, we brought random girls home one night from a party. It, it was just a whole mess. It was almost another story time for another day. But yeah, that is how my friend stole our money, my money her other friends' money, and I almost did not go to Durban. Basic house. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. That is the end of the story time. Um, uh, The next video will definitely be a collaboration with somebody. <laughs> you guys will see who it is. My first, first, first collaboration. And this is my gift to you guys as I'm approaching 100K. I hope you guys do like and comment and subscribe please comment like i like hearing from you guys and like there's a time when my comment peaked like you guys will comment all the time and now like nobody comments anymore and that like makes me and my homegirls really sad because we like hearing from you guys so please do comment love you guys so 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 much i'll see you guys on my next video